gosh. Dane. What? That's Dane. He's the motorcycle kind of guy. His girlfriend that he moved here with. Well, she kind of got him to rob and stuff and smoke cigarettes, but that's a story for another day. You were supposed to take this Chinese to the trash can weeks ago. Now do it now, or I'm getting Austin. I'll get Austin, maybe here. Fine. Heard my name mentioned. What are y'all talking about? That's Austin. The, uh, perfect rich boy that every girl wants to date. And a lot of girls have, except me. I have, like, a major crush on him, and, well, I have for a while, but he doesn't seem to notice at all. Oh, nothing, just taking the old Chinese out. Weren't you supposed to do that weeks ago? So I've heard. Hey, Austin. What's up? Oh, uh, nothing much. Uh, just the usual. Hello! Hi, Zach. Where's Cookie? Right here. That's Cookie and Zack. Yeah, everybody's aware that Cookie looks like a guy, but... Well, she'd probably prefer to be, honestly. She hates pink and anything girly, like skirts and dresses and stuff like that. And her cousin Zack, he's the youngest one of the bunch. He's just a huge goofball, in my opinion, but he's pretty sweet. Well, um... Now that you two are here, we were thinking about going out to eat. I'm cool with that. I love food. We all know, Zach. We love you a good burger. I'm back. I heard something about food. Yeah, we're going out to eat. Well, come on then. We're all just one happy family. Nothing could go wrong. I hope. I don't know, maybe you should just tell him. But he's dated so many other girls. What if he's never liked me? Well, you never know till you try. But if he didn't, it could ruin our entire friendship. And, well, you know we're best friends. We all are. <sighs> and I just don't want to ruin that. Well, I guess you just have to ask yourself if it's worth the risk. What you two talking about? Oh, just Cristana's crush on Austin. Keep it down. I don't want him hearing. Oh, the sound's no problem. He went out to get some Chinese, I think. Perfect. I'm starving. Hey, guys. Get down here. Uh, Chex decided to join us for lunch today. Ooh, I'll put this on the counter. Food. There we go. I am ready to eat. <laughs> well, I'm going to go up to the balcony. It's so beautiful up here. I think so, too. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you scared me. I'm sorry about that. Uh, mind if I chill, too? No, no, not at all. All right. I've been meaning to ask you something. What is it? Well, um, I think you're really pretty and nice, and I want to know if you would go out with me. Oh, um, yeah, sure. I'll go. Oh, uh, great. Are you free tomorrow? Yeah, almost any day, actually. Whenever you want. Oh, uh, awesome. I, I better go. It's getting a bit late. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Well, if Austin doesn't like me, I might as well. I'm plus, so Chex is really nice. Yes. Uh, well, guys, um, and girl, I better go. I gotta prepare for my date with Cristana tomorrow. What? 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 Oh, jeez. Yep, well, see y'all. Uh, gotta go. Excuse me. Mind telling me why you're going on a date with Chex tomorrow?
Well, I mean, Austin doesn't like me, so might as well. You don't know that. You've never asked him. Oh, I know plenty well. He's dated plenty of girls by now. It's kind of obvious. <laughs> I can't believe this. Christina never goes on dates. Well, maybe she decided she wants to. It's not like her at all. Well, uh, ow. Sorry. This isn't good. Yep. Well, we'll talk more about this tomorrow. It's getting kind of late. I'm going to my cell. Yeah, so am I. Well, I guess I should probably get some sleep. I don't want to look horrible for my date tomorrow. So, well, my date with Jax actually was pretty good. I mean, it wasn't like I bet anything that I could have had with Austin, but I think we're going to be planning a new one soon, and I enjoyed myself. Now I can finally get out of this uncomfortable skirt. Finally home. Hey, uh, Christina, can I uh, talk to you? Yeah, sure, what's up? I don't want this to sound wrong in any way, but I don't think you should date Chex. Chex is a really nice guy. What reason do I have not to date him? Uh, uh. Come on, spit it out. You have to have a reason. You can't date checks because of... You, you just can't. Really? What's the real reason? You can't date checks because you belong with me. Uh, no, scratch that. Uh, I didn't mean to say that. Uh... Cookie, I know it sounds crazy, but it's the truth, that's really what he's... <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna go tell Zach the news. Uh, he's out in the park, I'm gonna go find him. Alright. <sighs> uh, where is she? You asked to meet me here? Butterfly, uh, yeah. What do you want to talk about? It's, uh, less of a talk and more of a... Oh, so you want to make out? Of course. Mm -hmm. Zach, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Oh, hey, Cookie. I have some great... Oh, my dog. What? Oh, Austin's kissing another girl? Yeah, surprising, huh? Very surprising, considering him... And Kristana just got together. What? We have to tell her now. Come on. Get off me. I'm not here to kiss. I'm here to break up with you. Ha, huh, you know what? Fine. I didn't really like you anyway. <sighs> I hope Kristana doesn't find out about this. Hey. I've been waiting for you to get home. You sound angry. Is everything okay? No, everything is not okay, considering you kissed a butterfly. Though that was a complete accident. She came on to me first. I don't want to hear it. We're done. Well, I cried myself to sleep last night, and I heard Austin doing the same. I wouldn't have ever dated him if I thought this was how it was going to end. Well, for one, I don't think I'll ever have a crush on him again. But I suppose that's kind of a good thing. I hope. I can't sleep. Are you okay? I heard something. 
Ost. Come on. Come on. You stay in there. Don't come out. I'll clean up the mess. Zach, I'm going for a walk. I'll be back in a bit. Uh, okay. Feels good to get out. <laughs> hi, I'm Kristana. Oh, uh, hi, I'm Preston. Are you new here? Yeah, yeah, I moved here from California. That's such a cool place. What made you move? Ah, it's just really expensive to live there. Oh, uh, yeah, that's understandable. So, yeah, uh, that's my rental car, and I rented one of the apartments here. Maybe you can come meet my friends. They're all Great Danes, too. We kind of all live together. It's kind of, you know, some people call us a gang, but we're really not. We're just friends. Yeah, sure, okay, I'll go meet them. We kind of do need some friends around here. All right, right this way. Hey, guys, uh, come downstairs. There's a new Great Dane. Hello. <laughs> so everybody, this is Preston. Preston, this is Cookie, Austin, Zach, and Dane. Uh, hi everybody, nice to meet you. Get out of my house. What? Dude, we just met the guy. Excuse me? Look, this isn't... I mean, it is your house, but I invited him. No, no, if he wants me out, I'll go. Good, because I don't want to see your face in my house again. No, Preston, don't. Goodbye. Dude, not cool. Preston. If you're trying to take me back, he obviously doesn't want me there. Look, I'm not trying to take you back, just please. Austin's a good guy. At least he was. Um, please, can we talk about this over lunch? I... I... So you mean like a date? Well, if you want to call it a date, it can be a date. I would love to call it a date. I'm really sorry about what happened back there. It... Austin usually isn't like this. Well, I don't think I ever want to be around him again, but I love being around you. <laughs> Thank you. I like being around you, too. A lot. Um, well, I'm really sorry again. You don't have to keep saying sorry. I'm, I'm cool. He was being a real jerk, though. <sighs> I think I know what this is about. What? Well, I had a crush on Austin for a while, and it turns out he kind of liked me too, and so we kissed, and then, well, that kind of said that we were together. Duh. Of course. Um, and then he went and kissed this other girl right in the next, like, couple of hours after, and, well, it really made me mad, and I definitely don't like him anymore. I mean, as a friend maybe, but not in that way. Oh yeah, I see. Well, I can assure you that I definitely do not do that. I'm sure you don't. You seem pretty sincere. Thank you. Guys, I just got a message from Kristana, and she said she's on a date with this guy, and she's having a great time. She's on a what with this guy? She just met him! Austin, you can't control her life. She's not your little chew toy. She's my friend. I'm just trying to protect her. Make her happy. Oh, so you think kissing another girl is going to make her happy? <sighs> Dane. Back up. No. Don't try to control her life. And maybe you guys will be friends again. That sounds about right. Out of my way. 
Thanks for walking me home. I had a great time. No problem, and me too. I'll see you later? Yeah, yeah, of course. Awesome. Uh, see ya. Bye. You went on a date with this guy? How could you? Yet you kissed another girl while we were together. That was an accident. We're not dating anymore, Austin, and that's final, okay? I can date him if I want to. He's really sweet, and if you wouldn't have been rude to him, you would know that, too. She's not your little chew toy. She's not your little chew toy. Don't control her life. Can you help me with this thing? It's kind of heavy, Preston. Oh, yeah. Well, a few weeks went by. Austin welcomed Preston into our home. I think Austin must have knocked some sense into his thick head, but it worked. Me and Preston have started, well, going on even more dates, so... I'm glad Austin finally let him in. Austin even started dating again, though I'm not sure who with. He hasn't bothered to say. The other three are same as usual. And for once, I really am happy. Like, majorly happy. Tane, you were supposed to take this Chinese out weeks ago. Dude, here we go again. Ugh.